It is not demanded but tries to like or dislike the video while watching. The movie that will be explained now is Alexander. Alexander has been the best leader till today. He has done many such significant tasks which require appreciation. The movie starts with a scene of the old times, where a king is seen. The role of the king's wife has been performed by the celebrity Angelina Jolie. She begets Alexander. But it is said by the king and other people that Alexander is not the son of the king, but Zeus. Zeus is considered a god. Then all think that Alexander may have superpowers. The king does not possess it, but Zeus has. There was a constant dispute between the king and the queen due to this cause. They also did not understand. This behavior had badly impacted Alexander. He used to be sad because of this issue. But he was lucky that he had a very loyal friend who used to spend his all time with him. He used to understand his words. So Alexander was habitual to share his secrets with him. They both spent their time like siblings, and they used to spend their all time together. The generation of that state was growing than the king thought. There should be a tutor for them. Who may teach them the etiquette while bringing them up? Then they call a teacher named Aristotle there. Aristotle was an idealist teacher. He started to teach all kids of that state. At first sight, those kids grew to be very intelligent and full of ability. It means that they know how to use their talent. They begin to develop good manners and many skills. The love for the study had also developed among the children. Aristotle used to guide them appropriately. One day, a man enters that state where the king ruled, who had come for the bargaining of his horses. There are also Alexander and the king. That man is showing the horses to everyone. He has very beautiful horses but he has also such a horse that is so aggressive. He is not coming under the control of anyone. Then the king moves to that man, who is the owner of this horse, and he says to him, you have committed a mistake while taking it here. It can take the life of anyone here. It should have been tamed. Who will ride on it now? Then the son of the king, Alexander, appears there, and he says to his father, father, I will ride on it. He says to him, My son, you are 13 years old now. This horse which is not being controlled by many skilled riders, you will not be able to harness it. And that may also say to the king, This horse is very aggressive, and Alexander cannot handle it. Alexander challenges both of them, Indeed I am young, but I believe that I will be able to handle it. My teacher has trained me. He rides on the horse and comes back from a large distance. He had harnessed the horse, which was a pride for the king and the people of that place. Alexander's father feels excitement as he returns back. They all start applauding, appreciating him. Everyone knows that Alexander is very brave even at a young age. When Alexander dismounts the horse, he says to the horse, our friendship is everlasting now. I will carry you with me where I go, and you will have to obey me. Then Alexander is seen with his father at a night. The king is informing him who have been the leaders of the world. It means he is telling the names of the great leaders, which Sophocles, Oedipus, and many other people are included. Alexander is very inspired, and he says, My father, I will also be strong like these people. Just behold, I will get to fame that my name will also be listed with these people. Then Alexander's father explains to him that, It is not too easy, my son. Always remember this fact, either there is a state or a woman. If you concentrated on ladies, then you can never get the ability to focus on the state, particularly when that lady is like your mother. It means that the king was turning his son against his mother. As it has been told that there was not any intimacy between both husband and wife, and the king was also thinking to get married for the second time. Whereas he is advising his son, don't indulge in the woman. But Alexander is teased by these advices. After some time, it is seen, 
that Alexander's father has married for the second time. His second wife's uncle says ill for Alexander and his mother. And he says, they will surely be indecent, so the king has wedded my niece. Alexander gets aggressive with these words, and he says to that man, how dare you say ill for my mother? Then that girl's uncle says, the majesty, control your son. He is misbehaving with me. Then the king says to his son, Alexander, ask forgiveness from him. Alexander defends herself saying, what I have committed my father. That man used the wrong words for me and my mother. And you are saying, we should ask for forgiveness. I will not apologize. Saying it, Alexander begins to move away. Then the king also goes after him and he falls down. Then Alexander says to that woman and that man, are you witnessing the condition of my father? This lady has wedded my father for the sake of money, because my father has grown old now. Being so aggressive, the king exiles his son Alexander. Alexander is heartbroken. First of all, his father left him at his mother, now he exiled him. Does he not love his son and wife? Now his second wife is everything to him. The news soon travels that the king has been killed. Many men, many words. Some say that his second wife orders him to kill him in order to grab his property and money. And some say it has been committed in envy by his first wife. Thirdly, set my hands out of my grave if I die, so that people may witness that Alexander had come empty-handed and returned the empty-handed. So it was the story of Alexander the Great who is not disfamiliar with anyone. Alexander's entire kingdom was ruined after his death. The lustrous people grabbed everything. And Alexander is still in the hearts of others. The movie also completes this scene. Thanks for watching.